Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will discuss about mechanical systems. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you the outlines of this video. In this video, I will discuss about basics, types and parameters of mechanical systems. So let us start this video with first agenda that is types of mechanical system. Based on motion of object, Mechanical systems can be classified into two types. First one is transitional mechanical system and second one is rotational mechanical system. So based on motion, mechanical systems can be classified into two types. First one is transitional mechanical system and second one is rotational mechanical system. First of all, I'll explain you transitional mechanical system. See in transitional mechanical system, object motion happens in a straight path. So with transitional mechanical system, object motion happens in a straight line. Now I'll discuss about parameters of transitional mechanical system. So in transitional mechanical system, we analyze system with the use of displacement. Usually I denote displacement by X and unit of displacement is meter. Second parameter of transitional mechanical system is velocity. Velocity is rate of change of displacement with respect to time. That is dx by dt. Unit is meter per second. Third parameter is acceleration. Acceleration is rate of change of velocity with respect to time. And velocity is rate of change of displacement with respect to time. Means acceleration is double differentiation of displacement with respect to time. So acceleration unit that is meter per second square. Next parameter is mass. So any body could be having mass m, unit of mass is kilogram. And one more parameter that we use to analyze transitional mechanical system that is force. Unit of force is Newton. Newton means kilogram meter per second square. Usually with transitional mechanical system, we analyze force in a different way. Like if you have mass m, in that situation, we need to see acceleration of body. If acceleration is a, then force associated with mass will be mass into acceleration, right? If you have damper, if you have a damper which can move, through and fro over here and as if it is moving with velocity v and damper is having damping constant b then force associated with damper that will be damping constant b into velocity v and third element that could be spring if you have a spring that is having spring constant k and as if the spring is having displacement x then force associated with the spring that will be spring constant k into x, right? So based on different categories of systems, we can analyze force, right? And these are the equations that is very, very essential that one should know. Using these equations, I'll explain you mathematical modeling of mechanical system in future coming videos, right? Now I'll discuss about second category of mechanical system that is rotational mechanical system. See in the rotational mechanical system, motion of object happens in a circular trajectory. So as if body is revolving, at that time analysis should be done as per rotational mechanical system, right? So in a mechanical system, as if object motion happens in a circular line, then we do analysis as per rotational mechanical system. Now let me discuss about parameters of rotational mechanical system. Here I'll explain you those parameters in comparison with transitional mechanical system. Like in transitional mechanical system, we were been having displacement x. But in rotational mechanical system, we will be having angular displacement. So here we will be talking about angle. Right. Here, angular displacement 
that is having unit of radian and usually I denote that as per theta right see in linear motion we talk about displacement but in circular motion we talk about change in angle right similarly in linear motion if you have velocity then in rotational motion we will be having angular velocity right and angular velocity is omega that is d theta by dt that is rate of change of angle with respect to time unit is radian per second here in rotational mechanical system we talk about angular acceleration that is alpha that is rate of change of angular velocity with respect to time and angular acceleration alpha that is double differentiation of angular displacement with respect to time unit of angular acceleration that is radian per second square right see in linear motion we talk about mass but in rotational motion we talk about moment of inertia in some books you will be observing moment of inertia is denoted by i and in some books you will be observing moment of inertia that is denoted by g unit of moment of inertia that is kilogram into meter square right and that moment of inertia that depends on body like if you have a ring then moment of inertia that is different compared to the body which is having disc right even with solid sphere with hollow sphere with road there are different equations of moment of inertia that you will be studying in some other subjects here right now just consider in comparison of mass we consider moment of inertia in rotational mechanical system right and last parameter that is torque in linear motion we consider force in circular motion we consider a torque and unit of torque is newton into meter and with different body we analyze torque in a different way like if you have a body which is having mass m and based on mass m if moment of inertia is i and as if body is revolving with angular acceleration alpha then torque is i into alpha and that you can compare with force equation which is f is equals to m into a right instead of m here we have moment of inertia and instead of acceleration here we have angular acceleration right if you have damper see damper is having angular velocity omega and as if damper is having damping constant b then torque associated with damper will be damping constant b into angular velocity omega right and as if you have spring that is having angular displacement theta and as if spring is having spring constant k then restoring torque with spring will be k into theta right so that you can compare in with respect to linear motion as well and you need to remember these equations as well based on force as well as based on torque using these equations in future coming videos i'll explain you analysis of mathematical modeling with mechanical system thank you so much for watching this video